Fubo recently updated its app, so I signed up for a month of the live TV streaming service to see what's new. And it turns out Fubo has some features that I like better than YouTube TV. Let me show you. Number one, favoriting channels. I'm going to start with the live guide. And one of the best things about Fubo is that you can favorite a channel right from your TV set. I'm using a Roku Ultra to demonstrate today. When I select a channel logo along the left of the screen, you see the option add to favorites. It's right below play channel. And all the channels that you favorite appear toward the top of the main live guide. But look here, you can also filter the live guide using the options along the very top of the screen. And that way you can only see your favorite channels. Want to reorder your favorites? Well, you can do that too. And if you don't see this option from a TV set, log into Fubo from a computer. Then from the guide page, select reorder your favorites. And from here, it's as simple as dragging and dropping your favorite channels up and down to any position that you want. Just remember to click save and these changes will be reflected across all devices. Number two, live guide navigation. I'm sticking with the live guide to make my second point. Notice here how it says today above the top channel in the guide. We'll select that and you're going to see options to change the date up to a week ahead. This jump today feature, it's a great one, especially if you want to preview content, set some recordings, but you can always manually scroll ahead if you prefer. Do that by clicking to the right and watch as I click the fast forward key on my Roku remote, then it skips ahead a lot faster. And this fast forward trick, it also works to quickly scroll through the channel lineup. Highlight a channel logo and click fast forward to page down. Another live guide tip, press the replay key on a Roku remote and then it'll show this live marker, the red line here. And if you ever want to return to the top of the live guide right where you began, it only takes a click. Just press back to do that. Number three, browse while watching. Let's say you want to channel surf without going back to the main live guide or the home screen. Well, you can do that with Fubo. Watch here. I press down while watching live TV and this mini guide appears. From what I can tell, channels appear in the same order as the main live guide. And you also have those familiar sorting options, including favorites. From here, your options are to select a new program to watch, or you can always click back to dismiss the mini guide. We're up to number four, and that's background play. This next tip is for people watching live TV, but they do want to go back to the main live guide or even the home screen. I'll start with the live guide. Then I select a program to watch. Next, I'll click back to return to the live guide. With Fubo's app, audio from the show that I was previously watching, it continues to play in the background while I channel surf. To return to the program I was watching, I just have to hold back on my remote just as the prompt in the corner of the screen indicates. Number five, return to last channel. A whole lot of people ask me about this feature and it's another one that Fubo has. Here I am on ESPN. We're gonna call this channel one and now watch as I switch to channel two. In this case, ABC. If I wanna go back to channel one, I just press and hold the back key. Simple as that. Number six, manage DVR recordings. When you set a recording with Fubo, you've got options. You can record a single program or an entire series. And for sports, record a single game, all games from a specific team, or an entire league. This flexibility also extends to deleting recordings. Highlight an individual program or game to delete it, or delete all recordings to free up even more storage space. Number seven, multi-view. Yes, Fubo does have multi-view, it's just not available on all devices. And that's why I've switched from my Roku to an Apple TV for this section of the video. With a supported device, Fubo lets you watch up to four channels on a single screen. When you're watching live TV, press down, you'll see the option to watch in multi-view. And from there, you can browse the mini guide and add additional channels. Completely customizable, that's great, but for tech reasons, it's not supported on all devices. I update streaming deals on my website, michaelsafesdeals.com. Thank you for watching today, and I hope to see you back here soon.